Hi all, let's continue our look at the Evolution of Chess Style series and look at Paul Kerez in the 1951 USSR Championship. So this is after the botvinnik bronstein match. Botvinnik and Bronstein were both playing in this USSR Championship, but Paul Kerez won the championship in a really great style. Now here is one, is one of his more crushing games from this tournament. So his opponent, Avengi Turpikov, Let's see, d4, d5, c4, and now maybe Turpikov wanted to surprise Paul and played the Shigorin defense. We see knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, and bishop g4. Paul Kerz takes on d5 and plays e4 here, not minding about the possibility of his pawns being doubled with bishop takes f3. So he takes here because if queen takes f3, then knight takes d4 is nasty for white. For example, here is very, very nasty. Losing black has a big advantage. So this is necessary to take with the g pawn. But this light square bishop could also be pretty dangerous later as well. Knight b6. Now the d pawn is under fire. It's pushed forward. Knight b8. And now bishop f4, which gives the idea that actually knight b5 could be very handy in this position if black's not careful. Black played c6. Uh, as an example, a few other examples though. If e6 d takes, this is nice for white because that bishop, the light square bishop with that counterpart, is showing its danger as well as this knight b5 here. This is actually a very, very nice position for white with a big advantage. Also, if we consider uh, a6. Then here again, Bishop H3. This this light square bishop is is really good. Uh, this is just better for white. It's, it's so what what is actually Black doing here? It's it's a very difficult position. Uh, if say G6, Rook C1, Bishop G7, there might actually be because of the bishops here and especially this light square bishop. There's a really nice tactic in this variation. Can you see what White can play here? If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay, knight b5, vicious. So threatening knight c7 if takes. Bishop takes c7, checkmates the queen. So this shows this light square bishop is really quite good at trapping the queen here on this diagonal. Uh, so black played c6. We have queen b3 starting to put the pressure more on the black position. Knight eight to d7. If g6, this does provoke the possibility of bishop e5. And this is just very, very nice for white. Big advantage. So knight eight to d7, rook d1, queen c8. And now bishop h3, very nasty pin. Black's opening has clearly been uh, a disaster. It just looks horrible. But can it be won from this position quite easily? Knight a4. We see the desperate move, looking move f5. If bishop g7. Then knight takes, a takes, d takes, is winning that knight on d7. That's nasty stuff. Bang. So uh, it's necessary to block this diagonal. It's a total disaster opening. Knight takes, a takes. Uh, if knight takes here, then d takes. This is a big advantage because you can see that the queen and the bishop are checkmating the rook this time over here. Uh, so that's that's not very nice. So a takes. We see e takes f5. And knight c5. Queen takes b6. This is very desperate play from black. e5. D takes. It's clearly lost actually this position. But here a nifty move after rook a6 has black been tactical here. Well, in fact, it looks as though white could could play a normal move anyway, like queen c7. Doesn't have to play queen b4, which allows knight d3 check, winning the queen. But uh, queen c7 seems plausible. However, there's a stunner instead played in this position. An absolute stunner. Can you guess what Paul Kaz plays here? If I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay, f6. Yeah, f6. The queen can't be taken 
because of f7 check and then bishop g5 checkmate yeah <laughs> this is really a powerful position for white that even the move f6 is possible knight takes e6 is played queen b3 putting pressure on e6 again king f7 white castles c5 lending support for the pinned knight for a moment at least rook fe1 putting on the pressure c4 trying to unpin queen b5 but now there's things like d7 and black resigned here i'll give you an example continuation black resigned the game ended here if bishop c5 check rook takes b7 is devastating it hits the rook it undermines the rook if the rook leaves then this is going e6 is going so for example rook a8 we just take on e6 smashing through absolutely crushing game here the Shigorin defense surprise weapon in this game really backfired on poor Vengi Turpikov in this game but this was a great start to the tournament round one and set the signs up you know for Paul Kaz having a fantastic tournament maybe winning games in such spectacular quick style is good uh, for conserving energy if nothing else as well from a practical point of view so let's have a look at a few more games of Paul Kaz in this tournament because I think it's it shows why he's been celebrated on coins and notes of Estonia etc he's like one of the greatest sportsmen uh, sportsman Estonia has ever produced so I think it's fair to celebrate him a little bit more in our Evolution of Style series. Comments, questions, likes, shares appreciated. Thanks very much.